Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Now that I have a nice place to store a sled, it's time for me to finally go ahead and go after that panel sled that I wanted. It's not gonna be a very long video. These just aren't that hard to build. Um, these are kind of all the parts you need. A piece of plywood. Now my plywood isn't gonna hang over that far. So there may be another one of these uh, in the future, but this is what I had on hand and this will fit nicely in my my uh, sled box there. So uh, the runners, if you go all the way back to when I made the picture frame sled, I made these runners all the way back then. Um, when I make runners, I always make extras and keep them around and, and here it looks like they're gonna come in handy and they still fit just, just wonderfully. So I'm gonna use those. Um, in the future, there's a new shop coming. So um, hopefully by the time this video comes out, the new shop is, is well underway. Uh, I'll let you know. And which case in the new shop, it will be a little bit bigger. And this case will ultimately end up coming up and living alongside of here. So at that time, that, that's a good, good time to make a longer sled if I so choose. Um, because I'll have extra support on this side. But for now, I think that this is, this is a pretty good distance. Gives me a little bit, little bit more support out here and it'll work for my needs until that new shop's up. So, uh, let's get after it. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is get the runner installed on this board. Um, like I said, the, the runner fits great. I'm gonna use some dimes and lay them in the track so that this runner is just a little bit proud. And I'm, like I said, I'm gonna get everything set up ahead of time. Now I know it's gotta be with the blade, but I'm gonna use the blade itself to locate that. So I'm gonna hang this over just a little and I'm gonna slide my fence over to help keep everything square. And once I know that that's where it goes, and everything looks good, I'll come back here and add some super glue onto that runner just to hold it in place, and then I'll come back and add screws from the bottom. Okay, we're just gonna let that sit for a couple of minutes, let that uh, CA glue do its thing, and then we'll pull it out and add the screws. Okay, so it looks like I forgot to hit the record button, um, but all I did I, is raise the blade to full height and just cut off this edge so, so that everything comes out where it should be. Now everything I can work off, if I work off of this edge to mount my fence, everything should be right on. Um, this sled doesn't slide quite as nice as I'd like to just yet, but there's no wax on it yet, so it's actually not doing too bad. There's no slop in it, so I'm happy there, and we'll see where the wax takes us. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and get this fence mounted, and I'll show you how I'm doing that. Okay, I'm pretty fortunate to have this big woodpecker square. Um, it hopefully take a little of this trial and error out. But I put that on this edge, and this is a jointed edge on this board. And all I'm going to do is just clamp that in place now. And then I'll get screws on it from the underside. Okay, and just like with the runners, I'm going to countersink pilot drill and, and drive a screw. This one down here is going to become my pivot screw because it's closest to the runner. So if something's off, I'll pivot from here and I'll make an adjustment out here.
And I'll add one in the middle for now just for some more support. I may have to pull this if it's not square. That's okay, it's the underside of a sled. Nobody ever sees this. So I switched over to a larger pilot drill and I'm gonna go ahead and just eyeball what I think is good and, and mount this little clamp in here just to help me hold work pieces. Okay, so I went ahead and drilled holes on both ends. I, don't, I only have one of these clamps, so I'll pick up another one when I'm in town today. All I need to do now is go ahead and cut this fence off so that it's flush with the end of the sled. Okay, so I've got a fairly decent sized piece of scrap, three quarter ply left in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and make a cut. I wanted something rather large so that when I put this back together and, and look to make sure everything is square, I have, I have a good reference surface to really see if I have any error this way or that way. So yeah, all I'm gonna do is make this cut. Okay, so I hope this all shows up really good on, on camera. This is the cut edge, and I put a couple of dots on here so it's going back together exactly the way it came off. And the way that I'm gonna check and make sure that that's all a perfectly square cut is I'm just gonna flip it to the other side, end for end, and make the same test. And in my case, it is just dead on. Um, I'm happy with it. So now that I know that everything is square, I'm gonna go ahead and get some extra screws put in the bottom just to lock it in. Okay, and just like I always do with all my sleds, I like uh, Renaissance wax on the wood and I'm gonna wax the runner and the whole bottom of the sled so it just slides a little bit nicer on the table saw. I'll be pretty generous with it, especially considering this is the first waxing. But I want to make sure everything gets a good, good coat. And just like that, it's working great. Couldn't ask for anything better. Okay, next up, I just want to mount this handle somewhere here in the middle, just to give me a little support pushing things through. Okay, so it looks like I've got an extra hole in my sled. Um, reality is, is I just couldn't, the, the bolt that was with this handle just didn't leave me enough meat to get through there. So I went ahead and drilled a longer one, went to a toilet bolt, recessed it in the bottom, and that's gonna go in here now. If that other hole really bothers me, I'll plug it with a dowel or fill it with epoxy or something, but it's shop furniture and it doesn't really bother me. So next up, I just gotta trim this end off and put it away. Well, there it is, guys. Seems to be functioning great. I like the handle. Um, frankly, I wish I'd have had one of these in my shop long ago, especially as we went through the closet built-in project, it would have just been so much handier than what I had. Okay, so now just get it put away in its home, and it's good to go until I'm ready to use it. So I hope you got something out of that, guys. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them below. I'll answer them as I can. And until the next one, take care, guys. <laughs>